Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are back at it with Walking Dead. Today we're doing chapter 3. Did chapter 2, what, like, two days ago? Whatever. You'll see it. But yeah, let's go straight into it. They're about to do a recap of the last chapter, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to keep commentating at a minimum if they do that. If not, then we'll just jump right into it and start getting active. <clears throat> okay, so I guess they're not doing it. Are we back uh, near the pharmacy? Yeah, this looks like the pharmacy spot. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. <laughs> yeah, because this, yeah, yeah, this is where the. Uh, what is that? The pharmacy was like last time we was here. Hold up in the pharmacy and then we went out to go grab the keys and that's when everything went south. Oh, man. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. We should go. Motels run its course, and it's not safe. It damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Honestly, a whole plane? Golly, who has military okay, expertise? Yeah, I, I just, over that the just hit me. They the said the that the farm a couple of us have military expertise. I'm like, who? We didn't leave much who in a there. couple of us? Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Um... There's no safe way through that mess. Call up on the truck. Oh, no. Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Hmm. How... Can't climb up there. Can't go under that. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Man, we can, I'll climb like right through this area right here. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Okay. Uh. What is this? Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking and... Huh, I just don't know. I mean, like, truth be told, I get that we killed her pops, but that ain't got nothing to do with us for real. Cause we weren't about to be trapped in that room while he turning into a zombie. Like I'm not about to. Have, I'm not going for that. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? What else can I do? Okay, let's see what else is over here. Ain't no sense in looking at rubble or all of that. Can I go look at the stores behind us? The 
not even gonna let me go all the way over here. Yeah, let's do blocked it. by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Okay. Well, there's nothing left to explore, so let's just jump on the Jeep. Come up here with Kenny and see what else we got in store. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. I guess we're. I, really? I wonder if we're doing like that a supply wasn't sure run or something. It like that. Him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, oh, ah, shit! Bro. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Because I thought the bullet Shit. grazed him. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have... Go! Go! Go away! Go! Go! Help me! Somebody help me! Oh, God! Oh, God! What the... What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus. I don't think so. Getting to her. We gotta do something. Ah! It. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. True. He got. He got a point. No, we can't shoot. Bit, so shooting the zombies really won't do nothing for us or for her. It's like the equivalent of having one of them uh, monkey bombs in BO3. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Everything. Quickness. Are those juice pouches? She's gone. There's not much time now. How do they know we're in here, bro? Come on, keep going. Wait, he said under the counter. Let me go look back under the counter somewhere. Bandits. Medicine. I just grabbed a bunch of medicine. I think that's everything. It's not. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, oh Jimmy. Come on, kid. Don't let me down, man. Come on. <laughs> Uh, 
Rock keep messing up with me. Spamming A because he didn't want to button to push after that. Bro, stop stop staring. You gotta go. Let's go, pal. Oh yeah, we definitely need to leave here. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, cool. sweet pea. That's neat. Cool, cool. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. What? So, what did what you get? He, what is he talking about? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We She's don't have to do right anything. Now. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health, but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus Damn me. Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about I mean, the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night... What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? You weren't out there. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. The thing this is, way. she's not going out there to it's get supplies, so she don't like she don't understand no, what's really no. going on. What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Man, what bro? Pack into the RV. Pack into the RV. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. It's time to go, bro. Yeah. Rough day, I guess. Yeah, but I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, 
That's a bad mix. He does have a point. I can give him that. It's Lily's room. I know that. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. Yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. I'm sorry, how do you have, how do you have proof of this? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. I pray Kenny is not, is not out here stealing the drugs. If he, bro, if he is, I still got a rock on him though. I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. I'll okay. poke around. I'll, I'll see, I'll see what's going a little on. Bit. Thank you. I'm not going to totally write her anything, off, but I'll see I'll I'm see just if going to assume up. it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? No. What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything <laughs> weird. I'm on the case. Little bro just want to help out. Okay. First things first, let me go talk to Kenny. Always got to do that. Always got to see what's going on with him. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Uh... You guys, uh... Trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Mm hmm Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Okay. She mentioned glass by the thing. Let me chat with hey, him. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? He seemed like an addict. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down He's here been to make a down the whole time, so I, I didn't have much I didn't reason see to. Out there, even My parents would let up. me take the car into the city on the weekend. 
But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. Why I didn't mean to say it's crappy like or that, anything. Bro. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Hmm. What do you think about Lily? I think she scares man. the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Okay. Then that leaves Doug. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Hmm. Safety's always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. Or maybe someone convinced them we're worth more alive. Uh, what are you working on? Because I don't want to jump focus immediately on the wall. to ask him about Anything I'd like to life, contribute though. needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you... Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. <laughs> oh, he no. You have to cut him off before no, start rambling. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. I'll catch you later, Doug. Wait, I forgot to ask him about Lily. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What do you think about Lily? Doug. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. Like, I I honestly think it might be, like, just because of her dad dying, but, you know, you never know. Oh, what is that X? Hmm. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. True. It could be. It's pink got a chalk, point. which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. She was out here drawing that night. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. I don't know why I didn't think to ask her about the flashlight. No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. Hmm. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> cool! Duck thinks you're incredibly awesome. Why is, why is he standing like that? Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. 
You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Let's look at this chalk. <clears throat> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. I said out. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. Does it come off? <clears throat> hey, yo. Son of a bitch. Hold up. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. Got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall, and there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck! Wait, wait I didn't. What do you mean a sign? Yeah. Of, I didn't even look at another one. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, there gotta be people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Oh, bro, somebody Enough was somebody bullshit. was paying them for Drew, protection. Stop That's where the stuff was going. To these doors. Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh, shit! Can <gasps> we capture him? Oh, what the heck? Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Peek something. Peek something. He's back there! Shut up and get in there. Help! Hey, yo. Gotcha. Hang on! Hold on. I know I'm sniper elite. Where is he? We gotta worry about him. Why is my screen like this? Gotcha. Hurry! Come on! Let's say Get we? inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! No! Oh! Oh Christ! Let 
Something get at the RV! Here. Screw her! Let her stay! Please, walk her! Shit, no, we can't Kenny, do her. hurry up with that thing! We can't, we can't just leave her like Watch that. The right. Bro, I just came over to on this side, man. Doug? The solenoid. Lily, last chance. Get down here. Is she not coming? Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. He Nobody did it. died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. Why would they plant? You what? think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you right could now. join that's, them? That's, that's no why. one's fault. No one is selling us out. Then how do you explain what you found? It's protection. I don't know. Somebody did this, Lee. I didn't do it. Really honest. I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug. I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. Doug's right. Let's just get on down the road. We can talk this out like adults. Why give someone who almost killed us the opportunity? Lee, you know what we found. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Bro, she's lost it. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. Should have turned the lights off. Is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Bro, like, I'm still lost as to why she's run like why is she head honcho right now? She can barely handle herself. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. You should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. You see him fixing ben, the vehicle, you bro. Have like she's Kenny tweaking out. that walker to tell me it was you. No, Ben. Lily, this ah, is about trust, damn. and I've never trusted Shit. you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I Please can't. Please stop. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me now. 
Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. There, I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Are you kidding me? Drop it. Yeah, we we gotta leave her. We gotta leave. There's no way she just killed him like that. Kenny, what's happening? You duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. You're not coming with us. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad for a hot second. I almost feel bad. But she real life just she like she just was just about to shoot him. Lee, a word please. Feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Now come on, come on now, Kenny. I done had you back this whole time. I done got punched in the face for you. Duck is bitten. He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? Gone, but won't come back. Because he was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. That's so, bro, that's so crazy yeah, that she is. would do something like that. Hey, bro, what? Get off of me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we got something up ahead. Damn it. 
roads blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Train usable? Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. No, I, I think there's water on the RV. If he's dehydrated, he can go drink some water on the RV. Stuff. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We okay. have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay. As long as long as I'm not the only one that's out here, not that's out here, you know. Anyway, let me know if anything like changes that. here. Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Hey man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Alright, so he's not tripping anymore. Uh let's go let's go. Let's start in the back and make our way to the front. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Map. Need that. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Okay. I'll take this to Kendra for Duck. Let's go take that now, actually. Or let's go look this way. We might be able to get this train up and running. There's got to be a better way to do this. Copper bar. Shit. Broken. Where do I have to go from? I can't even access it from that side. Alright, well. Can I go this way? No. So let's hop back in here. Head out the front. And I'll take this bottle to... What's her face? Cat. And then we'll go search the front. And I'm actually going to get a map to Kenny too. Found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Right, no, here, man. Found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, 
Somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. I mean, he could have got stung. Well, no, he literally got bit. So. That's not a viable option. Now, come on, Ben. We need to get this train working. <clears throat> Start, let me start at the end because this looks like where you that looks like the last door you open up. So let me start down here. Um, okay. Bro just opening up the doors and shaking his head. Grab all these. Okay, I guess I can't grab all of them. What is this? Spike remover. Let's just keep the monkey wrench with us. We gotta look him over. Yeah. I mean, is he even really a walker for real? He already got hit in the head. He got shot in the head, actually. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. He this didn't know that was works? just the brakes, bro. Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Okay. I have no idea what to do with these. Just start flipping stuff. That's what I do. I just start flipping buttons. And then total the train. We can't move it. Uh. Alright. First things first. Let's hit this right here. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Nothing. Let me see if I remove the, uh, what is that? Take the, um, what is that? The connector or the pan off back here with this monkey wrench. Let's see if I can do that. Not with your hands, bro. There's got to be a better way to do this. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. Break it loose how? What would I need to... They're not even giving me no clues or nothing. So I got to walk all the way back up here. To grab the other tools and try and do it. Let 
Was it? I think it was the second door. Yeah. Spanner. Let's let's use this. Let's use the spike remover. Should just let us get all three of them, bro. It's either that or I have to actually get the train up and running before I come snatching this off. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Uh, What is that? Unstuck. So I think this is the right tool. I just gotta loosen it up by starting up the train, which I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to do that. Releasing the brakes didn't really do anything. Let me head back in here. No pad. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. Bro, who ripped the page like that? See the indentations from the writing. Ooh. Uh. Matte pen. Cab door. I have no idea what to do with these. Dang. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Okay. So I can't open up any of the other doors, which means there's nothing for us in there. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything yep. in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Oh, well, if you don't end up using it, I'd take it. I like to put leaves between the pages and color over them. Like make a rubbing? Yeah, it's fun. All right, well, we're heading to the RV. Is that banana milk or like a banana juice? It's disgusting. Not banana milk. Banana milk is amazing, but banana juice just sounds disgusting. Nope. Go this way, man. This stuff he has to do up here. Perfect. Yep. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. That shouldn't have been Sounds that clear, good. but. Okay. Wait. Let's look at the notepad again. Let me take a picture of this. That way I don't have to pull out the notepad again. All right. So six is these are up. Uh, this one up, and that one. Son of a bitch. Whatever you did, lit the dash up. Okay. So far, so good. Five. Turn like that. Now we're talking. 
Nine? Where's nine? Oh, nine is in the, uh, what is it? The last door down here. Enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. <laughs> Gotta make it go forward so I can get this pin on the back. It's all yours. <laughs> Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Let's go through that real quick. That's something in my freaking eye. I should get contacts. I was thinking about getting them, but I didn't heard too many stories about contacts ripping in people's eyes and rolling to the bag and they gotta go to the hospital to get them taken out. And plus, I don't trust my fingers near my eyes anyways. rock out with glasses, but you never know. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Come on, jump. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I'm like spamming A trying to figure out why he's not jumping on the train. You touch any of my stuff? Oh, shoot! How did he just sneak on here? I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. Okay. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. I end up getting killed it's like still that. still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Well, let me go. Let me go talk to Kenny. Let me see what he's on. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Why he look guilty eating the candy, bro? Just like, just eat it. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Let me go, yeah, let me go holler, holler at the boy. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. We just taking his home? Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. 
duck sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Talk to him real quick, cause he, he's uh freaking out right now. <laughs> they might want to close that door. I feel like it may be somebody like running along the side. Oh yeah, he's he's finished. How did he get bit? I didn't see I didn't see him get bit at all. Be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them. No. no. Ah, living got them. Lee, Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's? Did you get that off his face? My hands are full too. Dang, bro. You. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I gotta go talk to Kenny. Asa. Dang, not Doug, bruh. I was expecting at least the kids to make it, bro. Like, the rest of the adults was iffy. You need to stop the train. will be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? We're not about to fight, bro. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? I do have it coming. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. Bro, it's like we, it, it, what, there wasn't nothing we could do.
again. It's, I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just Wouldn't drift off to sleep. Offer. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. That's He's what I'm right, saying. Kat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Oh my gosh, man. We never did figure out who was who was passing off the pills outside of the thing. I should never took it. sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem, things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. What the heck? she kill herself? What? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you... She couldn't... She, she, she just... Fuck. Oh, oh, fuck! I could kill a, like a kid zombie, but I couldn't kill a kid that's about to become a zombie. That's just, that's too raw. That's too raw for me. Yeah, I'd rather me do it than have him do it. 
But he literally just lost his whole family, though. Oh, looks like it's just me, you, Ben, and Clem. And who is that? Clark. How, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. I mean, I'm not cutting alive. her hair. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. No. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life. I show her how to use a gun, but I'm not cutting her hair. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many She's people packing under that hat. already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Be safe up here. You betcha. Oh my goodness, dude. Let me see how he's doing. Hey, man. You and me, we... Let's just get to the ocean. Yeah, let's say that. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure Cat would be uh, okay with you, so forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah? Still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. I mean, bro, if we find a boat that's got a, what is it, like a stove on it? We're straight, because we can just fish. I don't know what we use as bait, but we can fish. Hey, Ben. Hey. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. 
aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you going to be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See you. Yeah. This is all just crazy. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Mm -hmm. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. Is her and finger literally... Oh, I thought right her finger was the on the trigger. I'm like, bro. Notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, a little higher. Close. Now keep it steady. Steady now. Almost got it. Bro, how am I supposed to know where she's aiming at? Steady now. Almost got it. Aim lower. Oh. She was shooting towards the top. Okay. Excellent. Good shot. To the right. Aim a little higher. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. You know, I'm somewhat of a sharpshooter myself, if y'all were watching earlier when I was sniping the zombies. Oh, she got I her by it. herself. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. I do not want to cut her hair. But it seems like we have to. Hey, Clint. Hi. 
So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. I mean, any Did amount of hair can this get, uh, I can guess get not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know. I'm going to look like a boy. I already think do. how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. It's not too crazy. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Wait, I had to talk I'm sorry about, about your hair. I think it looks caught with a plan. My mom isn't going to like it. 